Hi Beat Buddies, Jonathan here, Sam Forty from the forum. So this is my third tutorial on the drum sets editor for the Beat Buddy Manager software. And in this tutorial I'm going to cover how you can install drum kits created by users and using them with various songs. And I'm also going to give you a general overview of how you go about creating a drum kit from scratch. So first of all, um, let's talk about uh, downloading drum kits created by users. So as you may know or you may not know, on the Beat Buddy forum there's a user generated content area and then you click on drum kits and within here users have uploaded various kits. I'm going to show you um, three different ones and how to download them and how to install them. So the first one I'm going to show you is Dan's DLX percussion, sorry Dan's percussion DLX drum kit. So if we click on it it will open up, it will tell you what it is. It's a percussion based drum set which uses drum sounds from the percussion set but also adds lots of other sounds as well. And then it, it explains how to install it um, and then the instruments that are within it. Once you download it, so to download it you just click on there and it will download a zip file. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to install it. So the download itself, as I said, is a zip file you can't install from a zip file. So what you need to do is open it up, go to user lib, and go to drum sets. Within drum sets is the percussion DLX. Open up your My Documents folder or wherever your BB workspace is installed. And you've got a default lib and a user lib. So you go basically that's default library and user library open up user library and go to drum sets and just copy that into that space and as we open up the Beat Buddy Manager software you will see there's the percussion DLX if you remember from my second video, uh, first video you need to tick it to make it available if we now go to a song and we go to blues and we choose the percussion DLX kit we can then play it. Oh, we just need to save it. And as I mentioned in other videos, you can use your face bar once the mouse is on the foot pedal in the picture there. So that's the Percussion DLX drum kit. The great thing about this kit is that if we unpack it, it's got a number of uh, samples and instruments. So a duck quack, dogs barking, and lots of more usual um, percussion instruments. But you can actually um, get to these not by clicking browse because the only way that would be is if you actually copied it to wave sources which you can do but if we go to the DLX drum kit again and go user lib and there's the wave sources so before we were in drum sets and there they are so you can actually add these to any kit and see Granger has added the bongos to the rock kit and called it Rock One. I'm going to show you how to in, install that in a little bit. Um, and then tambourines, and so they're all there. So if you copied this to the wave sources on the Beat Buddy itself, and I might as well just show you how to do that. So if we do a copy and go to drum set, so this is your user library, your wave sources within your BB workspace is there and then if we just drop it in there you can now browse and change these um, these samples if you wanted to so that's the percussion DLX drum kit next one I'm going to show you is the Cajon so 
a few people on the Beat Buddy forum requested a cajon drum kit and so Benji Fonz kindly uploaded one and this is it so again you click on the Dropbox link you'll then need to click download and then it will da save it to your downloads area on your computer which is there so as this isn't in a zip file and it's just as a as a beat, beat buddy drum set file you can open it up directly from the beat buddy so if we go uh, beat buddy manager software so if we go import export import drum set and then go to your downloads area and there it is and just go open again you can tick it if you want to have a look at how it's set up double click on it to unpack all the WAV files and click on the play button to hear the various samples so you can play this again with any song so let's go let's play a bossa nova let's change that to the cajon So that was the Cajon kit. Again, you can play that with um, any song. The next song I'm going to show you, we'll close that, is um, the Rock One kit that C. Granger put up for the song And Fools Shine On. Shi and Fools Shine On. And so again, click on the link that takes you to Dropbox. Click Download and it will download it in your downloads area it also comes with a song so if you read this um, he's used the standard rock kit from the Beat Buddy and added some bongos to it so I'm going to just show you how you would download that and install that and also the song so again to download the song just click on it and it will go to your downloads area so if we open the Beat Buddy manager software go import export import drum set to my downloads to area and click on that and there's our rock one kit ticket to make it available and then we're going to add the song which I've also downloaded so if we go import export import song which is there find the song go open And it's already set to rock one. And play it. And so that's how you um, install kits you can either drag them directly from your downloads area into your user library drum sets area or just go import export but that will only work if they're not within a zip file so you'll have to move them out of there first so lastly I'm just going to show you how you would create a drum kit from scratch and to do that we will use the WAF samples provided by Beckadu in his percussion DLX drum kit so let's go to drum sets if you go to file you can select new drum set and by default you get these instruments as I mentioned in tutorial one I think you can just click on the X's to remove them and we will create a bongo kit so what we'll do is we'll start with the name you don't necessarily have to you could do this at the end I'm going to call it bongo kit and there's no OK you just press return and then we need to set up the the MIDI note so if we go to general MIDI bongos in the general MIDI are 61 for low 
and 60 for high. So we're going to start with the high first. So we'll just change that to 60. There we go, we won't add anything else. Oh, we're going to make that a bongo high. I might as well do this one as well. So this was 61. Change the name to bongo low. And now we need to grab the WAF files. So if you remember, they were within the DLX um, zip file here. So user lib WAF sources. Now you can't actually add them from here because they're within a zip file. So what I'm just going to do is you can drop them anywhere you like and then import them from there. But I'm just going to unpack them to my downloads area. You could just do copy and paste and add it wherever you need to. So now we've got Dan's percussion. I'm just going to move it over here. So this is the non-zipped file. Here's the drums. So these are bongo, the bongo's high. So you can, again, um, I use shift that time. So you click at the top, press shift, click at the bottom, and it will highlight them all. Um, so as long as it's highlighted the way it is, it's going to copy all five into the, um, in fact, let's move that down there. And we're going to do the same to the bongo low. And then close that. So now we've got a bongo kit. However, you will notice that these are red. And as I explained in my last tutorial, uh, my second tutorial on this, that means that the velocities are incorrect. And also you will notice that you're going one, two, three, four, zero. So zero will be the quietest normally. And four will be the highest. So currently these velocity layers don't make any sense. So unfortunately you need to go through each of these. So zero being the quietest. So let's make that zero to 20. And then the next will be one. So that will have to be 21 to 40. Next one will be 41 to 60. Three will be 61 to 80. And four will be 81. There we go. So everything's catered for. And now that's gone white. So when we click sort, it will actually sort it according to the velocity. So let's do the same for bongo low. So as you can see, um, they're all a bit mixed up and we can't sort them because it's red and not all the velocity layers are catered for. So we need to change this to make sure that it works. So zero, let's do zero thirty this time. Then our next one will be thirty one to sixty. And then two, so we'll, we'll have two of those. I'll let the algorithm decide which ones to play, either that one or that one. There's two, where's three? Three's up there. So that has to be 61 to 80. We'll do the same there, 61. to 80, in fact we'll make that 90, not that it makes any difference, I haven't actually got a file that will be able to play these, 
outside of I guess we could play it with the rock one again and then that one will be the loudest so that will be 91 to 127 so now it's white we can click sort and it sorts it according to velocity so this has not actually been imported so what we need to do is we need to save the drum set as and we're going to save it as bongo kit and then we need to import it into the beat body manager software by going import drum kit bongo kit and go open and now we've got a bongo kit and so if we go to songs and we play and fools shines on shine and fools shine on with the bongo kit so because it's only got the bongos we only hear the bongos so just before um, I finish this tutorial can take you back to the forum. So Beckadu actually put a post on how he makes drum kits for the Beat Buddy, so you can read that. Again, I recommend that you read the Beat Buddy drum set maker manual, which came with the Beat Buddy manager software. Both the Windows versions had the PDF in it, and I encourage you that you read it. So this was actually my last tutorial on the drum set editor and I hope you have found it and all preceding tutorials helpful and informative. I do plan on making more videos on different subjects of the Beat Buddy, but until then, I will see you in the next video.